wanted to make a real quick video to show where I'm moving my oil filter. This is the factory oil filter that came with the car. Um, since I did the split manifold, this pipe is directly in the way of where the oil filter goes. It goes right there, obviously. Well, not obviously, but for the all that have one, you know. So, putting it there, unless somebody knows a good reason not to put it there, like if the pressure's not enough to get it up to the filter or whatever. Um, I was gonna do it on this fender well, but I decided that the hoses, it has to go down between the two pipes and I feel like it would be too close. I mean, it's still gonna be the same, I guess, up here. I can't remember which goes to which. I think this hose on the bottom goes to the middle of the engine right between there. So what I think I'm gonna do is try and uh, do a hard line out to here. Maybe. I'm not 100% on that yet because it's gonna look kind of crummy. But do a hard line here and just have the hose kind of run down and go there. And then this hose is gonna go under and go over where it goes over there on the little output area. So if somebody knows a good reason not to have it mounted there, I mean, it's secure. Only thing I had to do was take this pad off the back. So hopefully it doesn't cause a bunch of noise with wind coming through or anything like that through these other holes. That hole right there is one of the clip holes. But what I might do is just pop the clip back in there in reverse. That way it's not a big deal. And then I'll only have that hole. But it should be okay, but it's secure. I mean, it's on there, so doesn't look too bad. I got that bigger air filter on there, so it kind of closes it in a little bit. But I was going to put a master cylinder there. I was going to do the Walton's firewall master cylinder. But I decided since my master cylinder under the floor was brand new, well, it's like two years old now, but pretty new, I'm just going to keep it. Because really, how often do you need to get to the master cylinder? The main reason I was going to do it is because I was doing disc brakes on this thing, but I'm going to, I have a complete setup for the drum brakes, brand new, so I'm going to put those on and see how it stops, and then go from there. So if y'all know any reason not to have the oil filter there, let me know. And eventually I'll be doing a full pressure, full uh, filtration conversion and all that, if my machine shop will do it when I rebuild one of these things. Alright.